Here comes Seth Lugo, who allowed no runs, two hits over six innings in his Royals debut on Saturday. Yes, we are looking forward to another nice start. Andrew Benintendi hits it hard, but out. And Isbell was playing shallow in center field, so the Royals were ready for that. There's that curveball pounded into the ground on the left side. Garcia and his throw off the mark. Mancata was running hard down the line, and he'll be on first. This is going to be a base hit, undoubtedly. But because it doesn't get away, Jason has got to tell him, stay right here. He could see that the ball was fielded off the railing there, and you don't want Moncada to make a false break to second base because then they can tag him out. Lugo backhands, throws a strike to second, locked in the first, and that's a double play. Mike Soroka goes to the mound and trying to throw the ball a bit better than he did last time out. Gave up seven hits in five innings, four earned runs. And he whips on a slider in the dirt for strike three. Is that one he missed by about a foot and a half, and that was a good one. He set him up with the fastball, wiped him out with the slider. Fastball back up the middle. That went off Soroka to Mankata on the move, and it's scooped nicely at first by Vaughn. But now we got to check on Soroka, make sure he's okay. Mike catches that one right off the ankle. Very good pick on the back end. You want to actually rush this one. He didn't have to, but he was losing it in the lights. When he reached up, he wasn't looking at it because he was looking straight into the lights, which for infielders on choppers comes into play usually early in the ball game. Well, it was definitely a hot shot right yeah. back up the middle. He's, say, he's saying it caught him off the shoe, which would be a good thing. It's, at least it's not on the ankle bone. It came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. So they're going to let him throw a few warm-up pitches just to see how he's feeling after taking that ball off his foot. This is okay, and that is good news. 2-2. Two -two. Ground on the right side, backhanded at first by Vaughn. The White Sox trying to build off their first win of the season, and their sheets where they walk to start the second inning. Chance for two. And the Royals have turned two double plays for Lugo in the first two innings. Ooh, man. Beautifully located. And thanks to a double play, Lugo faces the minimum in the second inning. Nicky Lopez at second. Shoemaker and DeYoung at short. And as I say that, Melendez hits one right by Vaughn. And he's hustling for second base. And he's in there with a one-out double. We think it went through Vaughn, but that ball was hit hard. You better believe it was. That's not an easy play. It's not routine at all. It's going to be a clean double. You better believe it. You can't expect a guy to field a ball like that and hit to hit it 100 miles an hour, one hop short one. He has four doubles already, MJ does, and he's reached safely in all six of his games. And that brings up Nelson Velasquez, the D8. That's hit hard to left field. Melendez to third, and here he comes. And the throw will be just a little late. Velasquez coming through, looking for something elevated like most hitters do. They're waiting for mistakes. They're not looking to hit the tough ones that are thrown. That's a meaty breaking ball right in the middle of the plate. Benintendi has a good arm and is just a little bit off on the first base side of the plate there and gave Melendez the back door. Sharply hit to left field. And there's been a noisy second inning for the Royals. That's three straight hits and two on with one out. Breaking ball. This could be two. Shoemake tossed to second for one. Nicky Lopez will make the throw for the double play. Nicky Lopez gave a lot of high fives to people before the game as the former Kansas City Royal goes off the glove of Lugo and a base hit into center field. Not much makes you feel better than that. Runner goes. A hit and run pounded to the left side. Garcia backhands the long throw. Not in time as it pulled Pasquantino off the bag. Benintendi bobbled at short by Witt, and everybody's safe. He was thinking about two before he got one, and because of the way the defense was situated, there was very little chance of Lofton getting to the bag quickly enough, and so Witt was looking to make that toss to second. It didn't work out very well. Back to the middle. Junior is there to second one wow. to first. How about that for a makeup? Bobby Witt Jr. slides to his left, saves at least two runs by knocking down the ball, and then gets two outs to get Lugo out of the bases loaded one out jam. Hit hard and into center field. Hit real hard, and Bobby is running hard. And in the second with a double. And any, any ball hit to the left and right of, of any of the fielders, any of them, he's going for two. Why? He has elite speed. I don't remember a player that could run like he can. Off speed. Fly ball out to center. 
And Robert will make the catch to end this third. Melendez is not the greatest left fielder around. He was a former catcher. They want his bat in the lineup, and that was the place that he had to play and left. Breaking ball, and that one will drop into center field. Sheets took the hard turn. He goes back to second. Just one out here in this top of the fourth. Bobby's play is to first and picked by Vinny, and he really had to stretch to go out to get it. Junior had got to it. He's got great range to go along with that speed and a nice little arm angle throw there, and Vinny helped him out on the other end. Pitch number 50 for Lugo, and it's hit in the air to left field. Melendez is there. So the White Sox strand two. Velasquez single to left with one out in the second inning to drive in Melendez. And he hits it high in the air, deep left field. Benintendi turns, watches it fly, splash! Nelson Velasquez tees off for his second home run of the season. He puts it right in the fountains behind the left center field seats. And it's 2-0 Royals in the bottom of the fourth. 429 feet. Gavin Sheets, a rocket to right field. And that will one hop the wall. Mancata there holding him at third. A one out double for Gavin Sheets. So two runners in scoring position. Sucks down by a pair. Andrew Vaughn has a chance to tie this game with a single. Vaughn goes the other way and it'll get down. Mancata will score. And they're going to hold Sheets at third. So a one out RBI single for Andrew Vaughn who delivers. So Shoemake has a chance to tie this game with a runner on at third. The one two. Fastball popped up towards shallow right field. Lofton ranges back. Renfro comes in. He can't find it. Now he does. He makes the catch. Sheets tags from third. Here's the throw on a hop in plenty of time. Selby's tag in time. Sheets is out, and the inning is over. Hunter Renfro shows off the cannon for a second consecutive game. Three on one out. Infield shaded to the right side against Isbell. Breaking ball lifted down the right field line toward the corner. Fletcher sprints. He can't get there. It drops in base hit. Velasquez is in. Here comes Renfro around third. Relay to the plate. Not in time. Renfro slides in safely. A two-run single for Kyle Isbell. The Royals tack on in the bottom of the seventh. Michael is 0 for 3. And he's got his first hit of the night. And another RBI. The Royals lead 5-1 in the bottom of the seventh. Garcia, fastball in the middle. Garcia gets Garcia, and Michael wins it. Good level swing. Now Salvi has five career grand slams and is one shy of the Royals franchise record. On the ground is short. Shoemaker couldn't make the play. The Royals have one. Here comes Bobby Wood Jr., and they have two more. Now MJ Melendez bats for the second time in the inning. Fastball crushed. Deep right center field. Fletcher's back all the way to the fence. It's way out of here. Two-run homer, MJ Melendez. And the Royals are pouring it on in the bottom of the seventh. Brian Shaw and Jordan Lyles have gotten in their work. Ground ball third. That should do it. Garcia to first, and the Royals take game one of the four-game series. Final score, 10-1 Royals.